Alright, hey guys, back here with Chris at DMP Sports Cards in Sacramento. And yesterday I opened up a box of certified, and Chris got his shipment of Upper Deck Series 1 in today, 2012-2013 Series 1. Always a popular product, um, but I would say if there's a hockey season this year, Series 2 is probably going to be the one to get. Um, like I said yesterday, it was not going to be the huge name rookies. Um, in this, but still, Upper Deck is always a solid product, and I'm really interested to see what we get in here. Lots of packs, I think. 24, yeah, 24 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. This is what a base card looks like. And I did get my first young gun already, Matt Clark of the Ducks. And as usual, Upper Deck has some really cool, unique photography in their sets. Young Gun cards actually look pretty nice, I think. Yeah, it's clean looking. Very clean. Looks better than in the the picture. Not oh, Chris Kreider. Young Gun right there. Maybe the best one to get. And Brent Burns. Been taken on a Thursday. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Okay, we have. Looks like they put MVP cards back in the set. MVP insert of Josh. Is that Josh? Josh George's. George's. Yeah, and George's. It's, it's got a slightly less glossy look than. Yeah, in it's your sort of uh, faded. We got Ryan Klo signed with the East Coast Hockey League San Francisco Bulls. Did he did. Yeah, he's practicing with the team. He's actually one of the assistant coaches. Player coach? Player. Uh, I don't. He says he's not. He's not sure if he's gonna play yet. No. That could be. So he just didn't want to leave California and go play in Europe, or what? You know, I think he's trying to ride out the the uh, lockout, but we'll see. Devin Sedaguchi was playing for Ontario. Is playing for Ontario, and they blew out the Bulls. Here's the exclusives of Nikolai Kavibulin. Number 200. Looks like it. I think so. There it is. Yeah, yeah Setaguchi, I think they blew out the bowl. 7 to nothing. Setaguchi scored 2. I think Chloe was there too, so. Looks like the canvas cards are back with the canvas feel. I guess there's autographed versions in this is set that? too. Is oh. that? Those are always nice. Um, they always use really cool photos. Yeah, this is interesting. I think, isn't that for the, that's for the uh, Winter Classic that's not going to happen this yeah. year. And look who's on the card with them. Way to go. Yeah. Okay, Young Gun. Mike Connolly. So these are all guys that played late season last year. Right. And we have our first game jersey of Mark Stahl of the Rangers. A lot of Rangers. Here's a it's Carl interesting. Hagelin. There's no hint of foil anywhere on that card. They went foilless this year. Yeah, interesting. That is interesting. Carl Hagelin, one of the more popular rookies from last year. Nice shot of him. Rangers hot box so far. Jack Johnson, MVP. And I do like the look of these cards. I mean, it's some, something about them, Upper Deck's always pretty appealing. It's one of the few sets of here that actually uses action photography, which I appreciate. That's true. And they do a good job of it, too. That was all base. Another canvas of Mike Richards. Stanley Cup champion, Mike Richards. That's right. And I like this this picture of Matt Cook with all the, the pucks. That's one of the guys I was trying to remember yesterday. Oh, that was him, huh? He used to be a Canuck. Move that over. We have a young gun of UC Renus. Should be getting two more young guns. 
and one more jersey at least. So we'll see what else comes out. Here's a jersey, two color, of Daniel Alfredson. Now, unfortunately, with this product in Series 1, I do know there's no Logan Couture cards, so that should drive sales down. <laughs> okay. Doesn't have a jersey card or anything. Actually, he does have this one rare insert, like one of those die cuts. I've seen he has one of those for sure. And they did the day with a cup in this series again, too. Did they? Okay, that's something to look for. Steven Stamkos, MVP. I don't know. I don't think they need those MVP cards in there. I, don't, I feel like... Well, I mean, if it adds value to the brand, go for it. It's not a standalone set anymore. Regular checklist. And Zidane Chara MVP card. I think this, that MVP set is the one, only one left that does the facsimile signatures on the cards, too, I think. That is you true. You don't see that anywhere else. Jordan Nolan, Young Gun. It's one of your guys, Dan Hamhuse. Interesting shot of him. Two pad staff. Yeah. And a canvas of Cam Ward. I'll put that one over there. Speaking of two packs back. And the Young Gun Checklist. It's usually a fairly valuable card. Yeah, pretty decent. I know there's Hockey Heroes in here. I haven't pulled one yet, so I'm wondering if I... Gonna get one. Got Kreider, Barchi, and Schwartz on Schwartz, it. Schwartz, yep. And a Malkin canvas. So far, so good. I mean, it looks like a solid product. Here's your man, Daniel Sedin, Silver Skates. This is a. They're bringing this back from back in the day, too. I think the yeah. last time they made this was 93, 94. But they were die cut before, yeah. and I like those. Oh, silver skate again. Adam Henrique. Okay, just a couple more packs to go. There's a hockey hero of Borier Salming. And they did, uh, what, 70s this year? I think it's... I could have sworn I saw a Gretzky, so maybe... Well, he's 79. That's true. Could be. Another checklist. And final pack. Bobby Orr. Hockey hero. Saved all the hockey heroes for the end. Hmm. So overall, I mean, the cards look really great. They're very colorful, modern looking. That's just my initial impression. But I am going to be doing a review, so watch out for that. And I want to thank DMP Sports Cards once again for filming. And uh, just watch out for that review. There will be another giveaway. And I'll see you guys next time.